We do programming with children every day after school and all day long during the summer months, but when COVID hit, we had to pivot when we were able to meet again in smaller groups. But we started feeding the kids every day and became more of a food preparation and delivery agency. Last year was a record year for Franktown. We used just shy of a thousand volunteers throughout the year. Incredible turnout from people that wanted to help, wanted to serve children. Well, in addition to a record year for volunteers, it was a record year for fundraising. During the COVID year, who would have thought? So we told our donors exactly what we were doing, what we needed the money for, why we needed additional funds, and they stepped up and met the challenge. Five years ago, we raised about $250,000. This last year, we raised a record year, $1.5 million during the year of COVID. This is nothing short of a miracle. So much of our support in the community goes directly to helping us build homes for people, providing the opportunity for home ownership. However, we do every year depend upon face-to-face -face meetings, lunches, events, where we, I always call them our shareholder meetings, where people come together, but we couldn't have them face-to-face. -face. So we had to look at doing something totally different. Like in Cheatham County, where we would have literally a drive-in where people came to a church parking lot. We had the program out front, we served you meals in your car. We still had everybody together. We had the great stories told. People enjoyed it. In Nashville, we offered to our, our sponsors, our donors, uh, uh, the opportunity to hear the story through uh, video messaging, but also to uh, use that money to provide uh, gingerbread homes for 10 people that they would uh, normally invite to the table. So their money went to help supporting us, but also it was able to be used creatively to say, you know, here's the message about habitat, and it passed it, it carried it forward to someone else. So the money was that was raised, again, helped to sustain our ministry. We are doing it again this year because we had the, the so many of the sponsors and donors came back and said, this is what we love doing. We have a very strong finance committee that helped to navigate those tricky waters. A pretty big slice of our pie came from our education programs and through those contracts. And whenever schools stopped meeting, that also stopped coming in, so that was tough. But what we were able to do was we did receive CARES funding, and that was basically a seed fund to test out or pilot these creativity kits. We were able to keep the costs really low, and we were able to figure out how to streamline this. We started talking to funders and saying, we just need more support financially to meet the need. And people continued to show up and donate. People who gave $5 were able to provide a creativity kit. So everyone was able to to jump in and make a difference with this project.